Alright guys, well here we are. It is the first sit of the year for me. Today it is October 23rd. Um, down here at the one property. Kind of already know where I'm going to hunt. I went back and I uh, pulled a card right at the spot that I'll be probably hunting. Um, and right now the big bucks, big mature bucks, they're laying down a lot of sign right now. A lot of scraping going on. A lot of rubbing. I was here, let's see, about two weeks ago. Uh, about a week ago. And the spot that I just pulled a card at um, there was a bunch of real fresh scrapes last weekend would have been a great weekend to hunt uh, weather was perfect um, but as I went back there's even more scrapes there than there was last weekend so uh, it looks like a good spot especially with this rain as you can see it's it's raining pretty good right now and so that means those big bucks are gonna be hitting some scrapes trying to freshen them up here once it stops hopefully here for the afternoon but yeah I'll be sitting this one spot I gotta go pretty fast here because I got another spot up over the ridge here uh, down on Oak Flat uh, with a scrape. I, if you've watched any of my past videos in the past couple months, uh, you've kind of seen the the camera, the camera pictures from that spot. I could hunt that. It'd be a good spot tonight too, because I imagine one of the mature bucks may be uh, trying to freshen up that scrape. But I don't have it quite set up yet. Uh, I don't even have a stand there yet. So there is a blind close to it that I may end up sitting. But we'll see here. Uh, we'll go and check it out here in a bit. Uh, but I kind of want to. I kind of want it to keep raining here, so I can get in and get everything done that I need to uh, before these deer start to move. So I'm going to go check this card, and we'll get going. All right, head up the stairs. This is home away from home. As you can see, we got a couple beds here. Always have a couple guys. Always have a couple guys stay with us. Um, down here during gun season, uh, night it makes for a nice deer camp each year. Uh, I do, I do a good majority of the bow hunting uh, down here. I'm a, mostly a bow hunter. So when I'm down here, I'm usually down here alone or with my dad or. Uh, or the landowners down here a lot with me, so, but looks like it's just me this weekend. But we'll see if we can't get something on the ground. That'd be nice. All right, well, let's check that camera. I got two mature bucks uh, hitting this spot. Uh, this one buck, he's a he's like a big mainframe six, but he's like seven. He might be like an eight point. He's got some some extra points on him. Uh, I, I just don't know if I want to shoot him yet. Uh, he's mature. He's at least four. I don't know. I don't know what what he'll grow into, um, but he's not not really what I'm looking for. Um, but he he is unique, um, so you know that he does have that about him. Uh, he so I'm gonna have a tough decision to make tonight um, if he shows up. We'll see. Uh, there's another like a ten point that he's like four or five. Uh, he hasn't grown much in like three years. Uh, he's only grown like not even ten inches in three years. So. He'd be one that you know I wouldn't mind shooting uh, since he's mature, and I don't think he's really gonna blow up. So, you know, we'll see. But I'll probably sit there tonight. But I got I got some other work I need to do um, at another spot, get it set up to eventually hunt that spot here in the upcoming week or so uh, when the rut starts kicking off a little bit more. So, all right, we'll see what happens. This rub is brand new. That rub is brand new. It was not here last weekend. 
And right there is my camera, so I imagine I got him on here. Let's see who did it. I'm going to guess it's this tall 8-point that has weak G3s. Let's see if I'm right. Let's check this. Well, never mind. The camera was dead. Figures. Uh, it died like two days ago. And it must have been when he came. Um, had some other deer. Uh, some other does, but uh, I must have missed it when he came by. So, I guess we won't know. We'll never know. But we'll get another picture of him, I'm sure. Got new batteries in it. Not a big deal. Not a place where you can hunt. Just wanted to try to get some inventory. Alright, well, so this is a spot here. Um, I didn't film it last week, but I made a Facebook post about it. My camera, uh, actually, camera was more facing this direction. Um, and this rub here, this part of the rub here was not there when I placed it, but the camera is more facing this direction. And when I came last week, this camera was like pushed way off to the side. All this bark was down on top of the camera. So you can see it's an old rub. And I made the mistake about putting a, putting a camera there. Um, I've had the camera there all summer long. Uh, this is just a crossing um, into a field here. So I, uh, we're just getting pictures of a couple bucks here. And one of the bucks didn't seem to like it. And he came over and hit it while the camera... Uh, was still on the tree, so I thought that was cool. He didn't care that it was there. He uh, he wanted to rub this tree, so uh, I didn't take video of that last week, but we'll see if anything new has popped up here on the camera. All right, well, nothing real great there on that camera, just a couple bucks that I already know. So let's go get into a blind here for the night and see what happens. All right, well, made it back to the cabin after uh, making my rounds here before I head out for the evening to hunt. Uh, you saw me kind of sneak down to this oak flat. Uh, there's a pretty nice scrape there that I've been monitoring for last month. A um, couple good, couple good bucks hitting it. Um, one's like a six and a half year old. Uh, not a, not a great looking deer, but you know he's old enough. Another um, eight point that's pretty decent. Um, but uh, I slipped down there. There's an old blind down there that I think you saw. Um, I probably videoed a little bit, and. Surprisingly, this blind, um, we used to, uh, it hasn't been hunted in probably two years, and I don't know if anybody's even been inside of it in probably two years, because this scrape happens to be about 40 yards from that uh, blind, so I tried to get up in there to see uh, if I could hunt it this evening, because the wind up there kind of swirls, so it would be nice to cut down on some scent, and there's like a thousand bees up in there when I open the door, so... I need to get up there and clean that out. I know it hasn't been opened in a long time, um, but you know I'll just end up using my. I'll end up getting up in a tree close to there whenever I feel like uh, the wind's good enough to hunt it. Uh, that spot being, it kind of comes out on a point up on a ridge top, and deer kind of bed on both sides. So I need a pretty stiff wind, a uh, pretty strong wind to keep it consistent um, and to keep it flowing over top of the ridges where they're bedding. Um, so I'm just gonna have to wait till I get a. You know some good wind speed to hunt that um, but you know there, there isn't great trees up there so that's why I was kind of debating on sitting the blind if I could but we're gonna have to get that sucker cleaned out if I want to hunt that um, hopefully here maybe come rut gun season somebody can sit it um, that is if the if the scrape stays you know the scrape and there's a lot of oaks right there uh, they might start drying up here so we probably need to hunt it soon actually I got a feeling we'll probably have one of the big bucks will probably hit that scrape today with all the rain we just had so but I'm heading heading to um, my old faithful blind um, so that's where we're gonna head here in a minute in the past. I, I got in here at like 
and there's already, there was a doe bedded just right up above the blind, and she saw me, and she started blowing, so I'm like, you gotta be kidding me, so, we'll see, I mean, we got a lot of time before dark, so, hopefully things settle down, and, you know, the big bucks, the mature bucks, if they did hear it, they're, they don't pay much attention to it, um, you know, since we, since it'll be, you know, a couple hours before, they'll probably even be, uh, you know, down, down cross in here. Um, so there's two bucks that I probably have a pretty good chance of seeing. Um, one is a, like a big seven point, um, just mainframe six, but he's, he's actually like eight, he's actually like an eight point, he's got a little kicker too, um, but he's mature. Um, there's another one, another ten that, uh, He's, he's not huge. Um, none of the deer this year, none of the bucks this year are like super big. Uh, but we got a lot of mature ones. This one's mature. He's like four or five years old. Um, he hasn't grown much in the last three years. He probably hasn't grown 10 inches in the last three years. Um, actually, both these bucks that I have a chance at tonight, I uh, passed them both last year. I had a couple opportunities at them. So, you know, you know, pa pass them young ones if you want to, if your goal is to shoot a mature buck, you got to pass them young ones, so there isn't one this year that I'm, like, my heart's set on, so either one, um, you know, it's hard enough to get a mature buck down here in the, in the big woods, um, it's, it's hard enough to get one to give you a shot, so, um, but hoping they, they use this bottom as a crossing, uh, they also, they love to make scrapes here, this is, this, you do this whole bottom here, it's just hammer for scrapes, and, They've been popping up about every night, uh, and they've been getting freshened up. So with this rain, hopefully they'll come and want to freshen up some of these scrapes. Yeah, my windows are already fogged up. Something I recommend doing, though, is make sure you open all your windows uh, before you hunt. And if you're planning on keeping them closed, because sometimes they'll pop just from the suction. Just in case you're planning on shooting, and I, you know, work and make sure all the noises. Just because you never know with this suction, you can make that little pop noise, and that uh, that could cost you dear. So as you can see through the moisture, uh, we got a little mix. We got some cereal grains in there. Uh, we do have some brassicas in there as well. Some turnips, radishes. Um, the pot didn't do as well this year. It got taken over by a lot of smart weed. It's pretty much what took over um, parts of the plot, but. Well, guys, we uh, we did it. We uh, I just shot the the big seven. You know, I wanted to see him first before I uh, you know decided to shoot. And 
pomegranate. I had a couple small bucks come in, and he just looks so much bigger than everything else. So I hope that didn't um, make him look bigger than what he is. But hey, whatever, you know, I, I'm, I'm pumped. So killed a really unique buck. Um, he he looks super wide. Well, we'll grab him and uh, we'll get out of here. Uh, I was planning on staying the whole weekend, and doesn't look like I need to. Um, we're we're tagged out here in Ohio, um, so it's good. I'm happy because I really want to get my dad, brother, and my wife uh, back out there and get, get another one. Um, so let's go take a look at him. Yeah, that's a cool deer. Cool looking deer. Big body, big body on him. All right, guys. Well, there he is. The big, the big six or the big seven. Um, he's actually an eight. He has a a little point uh, there off the base, but uh, just funky, funky looking deer. Um, very unique, very unique deer. And uh, the video that I just showed. Uh, earlier today of the deer that uh, rubbed my camera um, it was actually him and so and I passed this deer uh, twice last year and it just kind of adds to the story of him uh, kind of another reason why I just wanted to shoot him just a great story of him big body deer big body deer big mature deer um, and you know when they get this age it doesn't matter what their score is they're tough to kill, man. They are tough to kill. Yeah, cool looking buck. Nice and wide. Uh, yeah, he's uh, got a little kicker right there. So I'm I'm happy with him. <clears throat> you know, he's not going to score very well at all. Uh, he's not the prettiest of deer, but you know I'm I'm happy with him. I'm happy with him. Not gonna sugarcoat it to you. I actually put a bad shot on him. I spined him. Um, not a good shot. There's a steep angle. Steep angle, and uh, you know I just didn't aim low enough. Um, so I felt bad. Put another one in him uh, as quickly as possible. But <clears throat> you know we got him down. Um, you know that happens. Hey, if you're if you're a bow hunter, you've been bow hunting long enough. It's gonna happen to you. It's going to happen to you. Uh, so, not proud of the shot, but did what we did what we came to do. You know, short season for me. This is uh, my first sit, and I had a feeling if I wanted to kill this buck, I, I knew it. I'm like, if I sit this tonight, I got a good chance of killing him. Um, and I'm glad I did. You know, I can get my uh, dad and my wife and maybe my brother on one here too and that's what it's all about um that's all it's, what it's about for me so pumped with this nice mature buck uh, but we're gonna get him out of here i hear the tractor coming so yeah sorry guys um didn't get the shot on film uh it got really dark and he was right underneath the blind uh, my tribe does not angle down well and i didn't have a chance i mean he was right there um so all right well we'll uh maybe we'll get some pictures here in the daytime Taking them out. They're heading out. Right through the food plot. Had his last bite. 